saying that, oh, um, the video that he made uh, talking about WAC 100 and the Muslim situation, that that stopped the judge from giving him bail. First of all, the judge can't give them bail that day. That Let me stop you right there, player. <clears throat> Let's go to the actual documents, okay? Why you saying they can't give them bail? Why you saying they didn't give them bail, okay? U.S. Magistrate Judge Patricia Donahue ordered Crimac to be granted a prosecution motion. This was ordered. This is why you can't get bail, because they ordered a prosecution motion that day, so nothing can come up, okay? Ordered, a, ordered Crimac to be granted a prosecution motion that argued there were no possible conditions that could ensure public safety if Crick Mac, if Crick Mac were released from jail. So why are you saying they can't get bail? Yeah, we know he can't get bail because he was granted a prosecution motion before anybody could file anything else. Oh, uh, this rumor of like, oh, they played a video in court and it was because of that video that, that didn't, that, um, that, that was the reason that the judge didn't give Crick Mac bond. It's not true. You know what I'm saying? Let me pause you again, player. You're trying to say that that I said that was the reason why. No, there was multiple reasons why that he was granted a prosecution motion. That was not the only evidence that they played, that they presented. That was just one of them. I'm trying to show you all that the people around him are setting him up. That was number two. So people trying to say that I posted up the video of Crip Mac talking about WAC 100 in a Muslim situation. First of all, I wasn't in No Jumper when they recorded that. I wasn't holding the phone. I wasn't there, right? I never had the footage. When I seen the footage, it was on the internet when everybody else saw it. You know what I mean? Okay. I never said China Mac recorded it and put it up. I'm not, I still to this day ain't seen Crip Mac diss the Muslims. I ain't seen it. People been telling me about it. I never said that he was at no jumper. I said the people around him. See, this guy is so insecure that he's thinking we talking about him. I was never talking about him. He was never in the video. We never heard his voice. I said the people around him recorded his federal phone call that's already recorded and put it on his YouTube for the world can see it. And that was played as evidence. Okay. Now he's in the group of those people around him. So he feels guilty. We never said China Mac did that. It's obvious whose voice is on there, and it's obvious who's in the video, who's recording the phone call, and who has access to his channel now. So it's like, dude, why are you so insecure? We know what you did, but we got some more stuff. It's more. It's, the video's longer. It was on the internet when everybody else saw it. You know what I mean? And second of all, I don't control Crip Mac's page anymore because I handed it over to his homies. You know what I'm saying? But... Correct me if I'm wrong, that video wasn't posted on his page. That video was posted on, I think, No Jumper's page. <laughs> well, I am going to correct you because you are wrong, okay? It's, where do you think No Jumper got it from? You think No Jumper went on No Jumper page and recorded the phone call? The people that was with Crip Mac, they called Crip Mac, Crip Mac called them on their phone. It was posted and it still is posted on Crip Mac's YouTube. So we never said you did it. And see, you know, this is when a dude gets to talking too much. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or he just don't have no street to him to know what to say and what not to say. Or he just don't know the law, the laws or whatever, bro. Uh, all this gang stuff goes against him. Let's just play what he say before I'm gonna say what I say. Let's just play what he's gonna say. He's viral. You know what I'm saying? But you think I didn't know that there was a possibility that he could be going to jail? Bro got whole tattoos. He's a known gangbanger. You know? Okay. Let me play it one more time. You know, I, I mean, I know what I heard. Yeah, I had nothing to do with that. He uploading and... Man, bro, there's, there's a lot of... Like, yeah, he's viral. You know what I'm saying? But you think I didn't know that there was a possibility that he could be going to jail? Bro got whole tattoos. He's a known gangbanger. He so he's saying he got tattoos and he's a known gangbanger. Okay. These are the people that he's with. Okay. So 
they're going to look at everybody around him. If you got people he's with that saying he's a known gangbanger, why would they care about what the outside people say? Crip Mac can no longer go to the judge and say, I'm not a gangbanger. This is only an act. This is a prop for my online character. That's all fake. This is entertainment. When you have people who are on with him saying they're on his side and telling the whole world he's a known gangbanger. This is out of his words. So y'all stop trying to say, I'm trying to say bad things and make it worse. When the guy, they, they look at him and his circle of people around him. They don't care about what people when Tim Buck too and what they got to say. You, your circle, your gang, your everybody, whoever you with, your associates, your crimeys, everybody around you. Okay? So this is what's going on. Like I said, his downfall <laughs> is because of the people around him.